ladies and gentlemen, I'm simply known as Logamus Prime. Welcome uh, to yours truly doing a reaction to uh, Citrus or Citrus. Yeah, don't judge me, but this is uh, possibly my highly anticipated anime of the year, or at least of the beginning of the year, per se. Okay, now you might ask me why is that? It's because girls are going to make out. <laughs> Don't judge me! I see your eyes are looking at me. The art style looks fun, uh, the story looks, you know, the story sounds funny, and, and it can just be as cringy as the idea. I don't even know much about uh, the anime, but I just, I've seen, every, t every time I try to look up, hey, what's the anime to watch in, in early 2018, and bam, Citrus shows up. I was going to pick up the manga, but then I saw that uh, the anime was about to begin, so I figured, hey, I'll just watch it instead of reading it. I don't know too much about the story, but I got the gist of it, I think. It's about a girl who uh, wants to find romance, uh, but she couldn't because, you know, of course, she's still a little bit young. She gets transferred to a new school. It's an all-girls school. Uh, she meets a girl that is, is a bitch, I guess, or kind of stuck up, if you will. Her mom uh, ends up remarrying to someone else, so she, you know, she has a new stepdad. Coincidentally, the bitchy girl turns out to be her new stepsister. I think I got the idea. I think it's, it sounds pretty funny, and it's going to be very cringy and awkward. And if it's going to build up to that humor, then I, I, I know I'm going to laugh. I'm, I'm going to laugh a lot. <laughs> so I'm more than excited for that. I, I'm, a, I'm welcoming laughter. Please, uh, I, I hope so. So, alright guys, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to watch the episode, I'm going to dissect it, I'm going to commentate, I'm going to react to it. And then by the end of the episode, I give an overall opinion of what I just watched and where I think the show is going to go. So, without further ado, let's do it. Let's do episode one of Citrus. By the way, I am doing this on Crunchyroll, uh, so check it out there. This is also my first time doing a reaction to an anime uh, that's sub. So, this is going to be very unique to me because I'm going to be reading subtitles and then reacting. So... Hopefully, I can process it all and still be entertaining. So let's do it, baby. Oh, yeah. Well, that's. That's too much information. You did him? What? You whore. <laughs> oh, she is cocky. Alright, so my thing with animes, usually the uh, anime intro. Um, the song doesn't really hit me until maybe a few episodes later, so we'll see. <laughs> I feel like they got the most appropriate name for this anime by calling it Citrus. Citrus. Whatever. Orange thing. Whatever. Fruit. Vaginas. <laughs> oh my god! That was very hardcore making out. WHAT AM I GETTING MYSELF INTO?! MY BODY'S NOT READY! <laughs> Shit. Alright, girl. <laughs> oh, she was trying to look pimp on her first day of school? I'm guessing. Well, work it, girl. I don't know what else to say. She's doing her hair. Awesome. Ah, gotcha. So while she was in high school, her freshman year, Mommy, uh, found a new baby daddy. I wonder if that's gonna come into play, the parents and, uh, the new stepdad. I mean, of course they're gonna be playing a role in the show, but I mean, like, are they gonna be actual characters in the show? Wow! This girl's the worst! Uh, so she's been lying to all her friends about making out and stuff. But, but she's never... She's never had a first kiss. Man, she's the worst. Everyone's wearing green. She's not even wearing the right color outfit uniform thing. <laughs> See what I mean? She's in violation of the school outfit. And she can't even use her cell phone. <laughs> oh, that's... That's very rude. Jesus, this school is very strict. 
<laughs> She's breaking all the rules. Yeah, I kind of agree. Yeah, you gotta you gotta follow social order. The uniform is to it's a rule. Follow it. Uh, you you can't play that. Oh, I need to know the rules. Cause you look like a slut. <laughs> What the shit is she doing? What? Um. Well. That escalated quickly. <laughs> Bachika Bam Wow. Oh, she was trying to find her phone. Okay, but damn, she totally violated her, though. <laughs> Whoa. Wait, what? Why is that? I thought it was an all-girls school. Uh, no, he's not. He's not hot at all. I know it's an all-girls school. And I'm sure they can have men as teachers as well, but yeah, doesn't that go against the whole all girls thing? Not to see men. Gross, this girl wants to like, she really wants her first love. She's like, even with the teacher. Man, I wish I knew kanji. I wish I knew how to write and, and understand English, uh, English, what? Japanese, I mean. It'd be so much easier. That's not how you make friends! Don't be weird! <laughs> the delinquent? Ah, gotcha. So all the girls have been kind of indoctrinated. They've been following pretty much the system, if you will. They're all polite and... You know, they, uh, they're polite. <laughs> what? How the hell do you give away your daughter to a teacher? That's gross. I would never give up my daughter like that. Oh, but she doesn't have her phone anyway, so she can't really... You know. Whoa! <laughs> okay, she is talking way too much. Is, is that her? Is that her hair or hat? Oh, but she got her phone back. That's a positive. Uh, but you see, I guarantee you she doesn't have any boobs. Oh, that is just... Don't do that. <laughs> no! What? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> she actually tried. <laughs> what? What? What is going on? Wow, this shit is escalating way too quick. A teacher can't be making out with his students? What? what? She can take a picture? Wow, that is, uh, they're going super hardcore. Oh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> That's rude. Give her your phone number. She's your only friend. What? You date a guy, he's like, Deuces, I'm out of here. Uh, I, I'm going to travel. That's one way to write a character off a show. <laughs> now nah, she's finally gonna tell her. That you have a, a new sister? <laughs> and it turns out to be uh, 
shocker. It turns out to be the girl that took her phone and, and was making out with the teacher. Huh? This is awkward. <laughs> oh god, this is so awkward. How long is it gonna take for her to like confront her and ask her about the teacher making out thing? And why not? Why hasn't she just brought it up to her mom? Like, what's up with characters always keeping things? Wait, that, was, that sucks. She's been home alone because, you know, her dad's always traveling. Mind you, how did this girl, the main character, how did her, her how did she meet the dad anyway? Ah, whatever. So many questions. I got questions. Oh, God. <laughs> that is so vain. But it's funny, though. Did she, like, pee in the freaking bathtub? Why is it orange? Kind of gross. I don't know how people can shower with the windows open. Or, like, with no shades in the window, I mean. I could never do that. <laughs> so they gotta share rooms? That sucks. <laughs> so I guess she's gonna be distant then. Well, at least she's trying to get to know her. That's kind of vain of the other girl. Smack her in the face. Yeah, you guys are family now. <laughs> what is with her? Yeah, that is kind of rude. Why is she ignoring her? Come on, say the words. Alright, now she's being... Oh my god, is she gonna... Is she gonna kiss her too? Oh my god, I had a feeling she was gonna do that. What in the goddamn thing? Um... I like the symbology there, though. Oh, okay. Oh, alrighty then. Well, now she finally got her first kiss, and it turns out to be with her... <laughs> with her stepsister. Oof. Oh, my God. Well, alrighty then. <laughs> Whoa, okay. I, I mean, I, I um, slightly agree with it. I mean, I, I understand. I mean, I like a passionate kiss any day. <laughs> she, I think she likes it. Oh, maybe she doesn't like it. She says her, her kiss was stolen. All right, I've waited a, a while now. Ever since I heard the show, I was like, oh, I wanted to see it. I can't wait to see it. And now it's finally here, and it's okay. <laughs> I think that's all it's gonna be. It's just this uh, show about uh, girls making out. Whatever is is that is that is that the show? Now that's not necessarily a bad thing, or ugh, I don't know how to like criticize the show without coming like I don't know how to criticize the show without sounding like an idiot so the gist of the show is that like Ju, uh, Juso the blonde girl she uh, has been imagining her first kiss but uh, she hasn't really had a boyfriend or a guy to kiss uh, she moves to a new place a new school that uh, coincidentally happens to be an all girls school uh, she uh, her mom's starting to date a new guy that guy has a daughter of his own so they're gonna build a new family uh, so she gets a new stepsister. Uh, the stepsister so happens to be making out with a teacher at school. 
you know, Juso so happens to see it. When Juso finally confronts her about, hey, look, you're making out with a teacher. You shouldn't be doing that stuff. Uh, May, uh, Juso's stepsister, uh, <laughs> viciously assaulted her and, and starts French kissing the hell out of uh, Juso. And I guess that's it. That's, that's the show. <laughs> So I figured we're going to butt heads here. I, I think that's what the show is going to be about. Uh, we're going to see maybe more tragedy for May's character. I mean, her dad is a workaholic, so he's barely home. And uh, May seems to be always home alone. Or she doesn't really have much family compared to uh, Juso, where she has a very uh, tight uh, relationship with her mom. They're very close, and May doesn't have that. On top of the fact that... Uh, May has been not necessarily sold, but like she's been already given away to that teacher who was making out with her. So uh, maybe he shouldn't have been doing that physically, like making him you know, force himself on her. But uh, because May is so formal and so, she's so accustomed to maybe adults telling her what to do that I think she went with the flow. But seeing how the episode ended, she is analyzing, she is talking about what a kiss is all about. So obviously... Even though that teacher's making out with her and she's to marry that guy, that doesn't necessarily mean that she obviously likes the guy or even considers the kiss to be even good. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know! I'm trying to over I'm trying to analyze the show and trying to understand what the characters are thinking, and I don't know. Maybe I'm just failing completely. I just hope from the next episode we get more character development. We get that clash between uh, May's formality and Yuso's abstract attitude, you know? It'll be fun, if you will. That is Citrus! Citrus! Whatever. Yeah. All right, guys, that about wraps up today's episode. Leave me any positive or negative feedback down in that comment section. Be it about anything I miss, anything I discuss, or anything you guys would love to talk about. Like, personally, what are your opinions on Citrus? Do you guys like this show? What do you guys think about the show? Do you, do you guys... The girls making out and stuff. Feel free to like my video, subscribe to my channel. I highly appreciate it if you do. And as always, keep peaceful. Enjoy the rest of your day. And farewell for now. Bye-bye.